Hello all. We have an organization hierarchy of four levels and let's see how to get uh, the organization some details like let's say uh, let's enter an employee name and get all the employees directly or indirectly reporting to him or her. For example, if you want to enter, if you have to uh, get all the employees reporting directly to Naveen, directly or indirectly to Naveen, um, you, you, we, let's create a variable and give uh, the name as Naveen and the SQL query should return all the employees. At the same way, if the user enters Priya, the SQL query should return Rahul, Rohit, Ravi, Akil and Nikhil. And in the same way, if user enters Rohit, the query should return Akil and Nikhil. And if the user enters Nitin, then the query should not return anything. So now let's go back to SQL Server Studio and try to understand how to get this. So we have already created a table uh, with called employee with all the required details. And let's try to see what So if you see this, this is the data um, where Naveen is the manager, super manager and he doesn't have any manager and uh, all the people coming under Naveen ha has the uh, has their IDs and manager ID associated. So for this, for the question we discussed earlier, let's write a query. So that we have to use recursivity with CT underscore EMP as select from employee where name is equal to so instead of changing it here let's declare a variable called employee name and data type is varchar of 10 equal to let's keep Navin, declare it as Navin for time being so let's select star from employee where name is equal to in employee name so if you run this query directly let's see what we get so let's see what we are getting from the CT at this moment so we have created the anchor part called uh, where the data set returned is Naveen Whose manager ID is blank. So now the next, let's use the union all part and select from CT employee as CT inner join employee, sorry, employee as T on CT dot manager ID is equal to employee dot ID. So if you see the CT's manager ID is blank. So sorry, CT dot ID is equal to employee dot manager ID. So if you see the CT uh, ID is 100 and in this first uh, query execution, it returns all the employees directly reporting to Naveen and whose manager ID is uh, 100. So here we have to report e dot star and yeah so let's see what we are getting ideally this query should return every entire data set because Navin is the super boss and all people are directly or indirectly reporting to him so if you execute if you see there are 14 rows and all the employees are there and now let's go let's enter Priya and see uh, what all the employees are reporting directly or indirectly to Priya? You see, Priya has uh, Rahul, Rohit, Ravi, Akil, and Nikhil. So these five people are reporting to Priya. So if we just enter Priya here, let's see what we are getting. So if you see Priya's name is coming, Rohit, Rahul, Ravi, Akil, and Nikhil are coming. So this is so what we are trying to do here. We are just trying to create an anchor part and trying to inner join with the same with the employee table. Um, based on the required join and uh, in the variable name we are giving the required person and we are getting the required output so again if you want uh, so instead of showing this data if you want name as if you want two columns like employee name and manager name 
we can again use the self join as I explained in my earlier videos as a left join cte underscore emp as b so here do, i'm doing self join uh, on the recursive ct part so self join is nothing but joining the same table to itself so here we are joining the same ct with itself on a dot um, a dot id is equal to b dot sorry a dot manager id is equal to b dot id and a dot name as employee name comma b dot name as manager name so if you run this query what would you get on condition on keyword and let's run this yeah if you see priya uh, employee manager name is null because we are checking only the hierarchy under priya and uh, priya's direct report is our rohit rahul and ravi since rohit has atil and nikhil this is the data set you get and again let's uh, time me enter arjun's name and see what we are getting When you're entering Arjun, you have only uh, the manager name as null because Arjun's uh, no one is reporting to Arjun, so there is no employee coming, and uh, the manager name is null. So this is how you get you enter an employee name and you get all the required or um, the people directly or indirectly reporting to him or her. And now the next question is, you just give an employee name and try to get all the employees above his or her hierarchy. Exam that means. Uh, when you try to um, enter Rohit, you need to get Priya and Navin. And similarly, when you try to enter Akil, you need to get Rohit, Priya, and Navin. And uh, if you enter Priya, you need to get Navin. So the we need to get the employees above their uh, hierarchy. So for this, uh, there is not much change. We just need to uh, copy the same query which you have already written. And uh, if you see nothing changes here uh, the name uh, variable is same the recursive ct is also the same so if we see we just need to swap the joint condition here so instead of ct.id we need to use the ct.manager id because manager id and e.id so when you try to run this query arjun you see arjun is directly reporting to navin and Navin is not having any, any idea. So what's happening here? So for timing, let's try to understand what's happening in this query. So I'll comment out this part. And uh, here, select star from CTE Mr. Employee. So when we try to enter, um, when we try to get the data for Arjun, so the anchor part is written in ID as 22 and name as Arjun and manager ID as 100. So now what we need to do as uh, we as we discussed, we need to get the people above his above him. So we need uh, to, so here the manager ID. So since the manager ID is 100, we need to find who is who whose value is 100. So this is the anchor part and the anchor part uh, for the manager ID. So CT dot manager ID. We are trying to join with employee dot ID. To get the details that's why uh, the anchor setting the anchor part is important and how you join the query with the recursive ct is important so with this condition when you try to enter arjun you are getting um, navin navin's name and uh, uh, only navin's name but uh, if you do not want to read uh, if you do not want arjun's name in this so let's we have to write another weight clause where employee name or uh, a dot name sorry a dot name is not equal to the variable name so, emp name so if you try to write this we get the employees as navin and manager name is null and instead of arjun let's see in this example let's keep rohit's name here 
and see what the data is what data is getting written here so if you see priya and navin and navin is reporting to me so rohit has manager is priya and priya manages navin so only priya's name and navin's name is getting written and let's enter sai to see what data is we're getting sai if you enter sai's name yeah sai is reporting to yash and yash is reporting to navin so this is how we get the data and let's enter navin's name to see what data we are getting so ideally it should not return anything because navin no one is about navin so yeah this is how recursive ct works so main things you need to remember for recursive ct you need to have an anchor part uh, where uh, the data returns some one where the query returns some data set and based on the data set you need to join with the state with the required tables and get the another data set and in the sit you need to make sure that the, re the recursive ct or the query which you have written in the recursive ct should stop at some point otherwise it will give you an uh, error saying that uh, the, no the number of loops is greater than 100 so two main things well, in the syntax part you should always have a union all in a recursive ct and uh, you should never use a uh, outer join say left join or right join either ignore joins or if you want to use joins you need to use inner join so yeah these are the main things in recursive ct and uh, recursive ct uh, so if you are uh, expecting if you are trying to attend some um, experience level roles for uh, uh, say bi developer or data engineer and you are asked some questions on sql expect some questions from uh, recursive ct thank you have a nice day